you all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Luminati News Hour right here on Luminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you support. And uh, this is a special request video from Kevin McCoy. I would like to thank you, Kevin McCoy, for this is the donation for this video. And if any of you all out there have any special request videos that you want me to do, celebrities you want me to, to do a video on, YouTubers you want me to do a video on, or if you have a particular topic that you want me to shed some understanding on, well, and do a video on, the small donation of $5. Donation link in the description box below. Alright. Iced tea. You know what I'm saying? I did my little research on iced tea and he had a, uh, number one, what was weird to me was the fact that, you know what I'm saying, his mother and his father died of the same thing. You know what I'm saying, that's like, you know what I'm saying, not a coincidence. I mean, it is a coincidence. It's a coincidence that his mother and his father died of the same exact thing. You know what I'm saying? But this is when he was younger, and you know what I'm saying? And 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 another another thing puzzled me about um Ice T is that um he went into the army and he spent after four years, I think it was four years, after four years in the army. Remember, the number four represents, you know what I'm saying, the black man. The death of the black man. So when you see anything in the news of somebody dying or, you know what I'm saying, you notice, pay attention to the number. It always got the number four. The man was 42 or the man was 44. It always, 40, you know what I'm saying, or the number four is having to do with the death of the black man. So with all that being said, it puzzled me that this man was in the army and he went to the army and he spent four years in the army and then and when he's in the army for four years he had gather up some DJ equipment and he was DJing in the army and he got a conditional discharge from the army now Anybody who's been in the army, you know what I'm saying, you don't get no conditional discharge because you want to pursue a DJ career. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it's that easy if anybody's in the army. The only way, if you're in the army, the only way you are going to get a conditional discharge is if you injured, hurt, or whatnot. But uh, this man get a conditional discharge from the army, you know what I'm saying, after four years. You know what I'm saying? I don't think he went to the army. I think he went to a place to be ritualized for four years. That's what I think. Because after he went from that place, after he left the army, he immediately went and started in what? Colors, the movie Colors, uh, you know what I'm saying? He started, oh, Breaking, Breaking, I think it was part one, Breaking part two, you know what I'm saying? And, and it was, and it's funny that him being in the movie Breaking, that was a big hit movie. It was a box office hit movie. How was he broke? How was you broke, Ice T? You know what I'm saying? When you signed a contract to appear in the movie Breaking, you know what I'm saying? When you signed a contract to appear in the movie Breaking, how was you broke? How much was he paying you? A dollar? A penny? How did you have to convert to Robin Banks, but yet you was in the Breaking Part 1? Breaking part two. He was not only in that, you was also in the movie Colors. That was also a big hit movie. Not only that, you signed to Sire Records. And after you signed to Sire Records, um you had top hit albums. And you mean to tell me you were still broke? You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying, that I'm saying that to say this. This man is is an agent. You know, you know you have just some 
people who pass a soul to the fire of Moloch, or some people are just put in place to be agents. You know what I'm saying? Secret agents. You know what I'm saying? To do certain things. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Ice-T is. But, um, he went all them years of being in movies, being in sitcoms, you know what I'm saying? Being in, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 sitcoms, uh, uh, series, movie series, TV series. He did all of that to wind up. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. This man went through all of that. And you mean to tell me yet, this man, just now, in I believe, what, 2016, have his first child? You got your first child in 2016. You know, I, I don't know what it is with these celebrities and them waiting years, 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 years until, you know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden they coming up. Oh, me and Coco got our first child. Let, let, let alone, you know what I'm saying? You know, um, three of Coco's family members so-called caught the coronavirus, but they recovered. You know what I'm saying? They recovered from it, but you know what I'm saying? That sounds weird to me. And not only that, you know what I'm saying? My mind was focused on this child that Ice T had. And I believe he, he had this child in 2016, if I'm not mistaken. 16 represents fresh sacrifice. 16 represents blood sacrifice. So, you know what I'm saying? So, the, for all of Ice-T's success, and for all of Ice-T's, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, um, being in Hollywood, it's all starting to pay off now through his first child. And I think this is his first child, too. I think this is his first child. Ice-T is older than dirt, and you mean to tell me you just starting to have kids in 2016? You mean to tell me as, you know what I'm saying, you know, I don't think she's fine, but the world thinks, uh, thought when IC first got with Coco, the world was all over Coco. Oh, Coco is fine. You mean to tell me, you know what I'm saying, Tice T, you got a child, you got a woman as fine as that, and you mean to tell me you didn't bust nothing up in that? You mean to tell me that? You mean to tell me you got a woman that fine? Everybody was on Coco. You mean to tell me you did not produce anything from that? You mean to tell me all these years, you know what I'm saying, you've been in Hollywood? You mean to tell me you did not pop? You didn't make no children? It's kind of remind me of Ken Fields, the last report I did on Ken Fields. She went all these years in her first marriage. You know what I'm saying? And the first husband couldn't pop no children on her, but soon as she get to her first, second marriage, she end up having one, and then she have a miracle baby. You know what I'm saying? This... This child that she had with Coco, I, I'm, 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 I'm thinking, I'm, you know what I'm saying, want to know if, you know what I'm saying, it's iced tea, you know what I'm saying, not iced tea, but is damn Coco, you know what I'm saying, a woman. Because I, I, I just don't understand that, because I, I know, but I know this, this baby that he had, this one child. Now, if he had more than one child, please let me know. But as far as I know, Ice-T only got this one damn child. And he had her in 2016. 216. That is a Jesuit order. So this man right here is a Jesuit order agent. You know what I'm saying? He's made that music to pursue the gangster lifestyle, to influence the people in that gangster lifestyle, the rebelliousness of the Israelites. Because Cop Killer, that song Cop Killer, it reached the top, didn't it? And it had 
people going against the police. You know what I'm saying? It had the it, it sparked the rebelliousness in people. Even in the movie Breaking, his character um put uh it sparked the rebelliousness in people from robbing banks and such things of that nature. But I went on a little bit too far from this video. But um, to answer your question, Brother Kevin McCoy, this baby, keep your eye on this baby because this baby right here that I see on the head, that baby is a ritual child. But anyway, this is news. One well, thank you for that donation, Brother Kevin McCoy, for sending me a donation for this video. If any of you all have any videos that you want me to do, on a celebrity that you want me to do, YouTube that you want me to do, or if you got a particular uh, subject, topic that you want me to share the understanding on, you know what I'm saying? Well, that's a small donation of $5. The donation link in the description box below. Well, thank you all for tuning in, logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour, right here on Illuminati Radio. I'm your host, I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith. If you're new to this page, channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop this breaking news on you. Hit that like button if you're enjoying this content. Till next time, stay tuned. God bless you.